In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom post type template that can be assigned to any one of your custom post types just based on the file name of the custom post type. You can create a template for every one of your custom post types or none of them at all, depends on what you want. But I'm going to show you how to create them in this tutorial. Let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet and you like WordPress tutorials and tips and tricks, click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, if you like deals, check out the half off hosting deal I negotiated for you with InMotion Hosting. Nearly every plan is half off, some are less, but every plan has a discount that you could use for yourself or for your clients or whatever. Feel free to go check that out in the link down below or the card that popped up. And with that out of the way, let's head to this tutorial. Two important things to note about this tutorial, it assumes you already have a custom post type created either with a plugin or without a plugin. And if you don't have one of those yet, there's a card that just popped up that shows you how to create a custom post type without a plugin. And right after that one, there's going to be a card that shows up that shows you how to build a custom post type with a plugin. So if you don't have a custom post type yet, do one of those tutorials, then come back to here. And this tutorial is focused on how to actually add a specific template to that custom post type and have that be automatically assigned to that custom post type all the time. The second important thing to note is we're not gonna build some fancy custom post type for this tutorial. I'm just gonna show you how to assign a page to a custom post type. In later tutorials, we'll do something much more fancy, but in this one is just how to do the backend technology of assigning a template to a post type. And this is where we start in the dashboard. The first thing we wanna do assuming you have a custom post type in place already, we want to find out what the name is of that custom post type. To do that, I have a custom post type called products. If I click on products, the URL changes to this and it has the parameter post type equals WPLL underscore product. This is the name of that custom post type. This one is created without a plugin using the tutorial that I linked to in the card previously. This music custom post type is created with a plugin and its custom post type name is just music, which you can see here, custom post type equals music. And I'm gonna show you how to apply custom post types to both of those. And what we do, we go into our cPanel, we open up file manager, you can do this via FTP as well if you're more comfortable in FTP. Go to public underscore HTML, WP content, themes, Find your active theme. My active theme is this one. It's a child theme of Divi. And this is all the files that we have in there. Now we need to get a poster page template into here. So I'm going to go into Divi. I'm going to copy page or post. In this case, I'm going to do the post, which is the single.php. I'm going to highlight it, right click on it, click on copy, enter the folder name of the child theme. Now it's copied over to there. If we go back in here, we're gonna have a single.php. This is the template for a post. So if we go ahead and we open, let's just add a new product under my custom post type that I created without a plugin. And I'm just gonna call this test product and then publish it. Then I will view it, see how it looks. And this is using the single.php template. And this is what it looks like. Now we're gonna go ahead and edit this single.php to change the appearance of just this custom post type. And there's two things we're gonna do. We're gonna change the name of this file to be single dash followed by the name of your custom post type. I'm just gonna copy it from here not from there, it disappeared. Let's go back to the overall list of our custom post types. I'm gonna copy this name from right here and add a dash after the single and then paste in that name, hit enter to save the file name. Now this file is only applied to pages that are in the products custom post type, i.e the WPLL underscore product custom post type. So now if I go in and edit these pages or edit this template, I mean, let's go into the editor 
and I'm going to, just to demonstrate that it works, I'm just gonna take out the footer by commenting it out. Save changes. Now if I refresh this page, this footer will be gone. Then after that, I'm gonna to go to one of these pages, the footer's gonna be back. So I'm gonna refresh. Footer disappears because we have that special template applied. If we go to any other page, the blog for example, it's now gonna pull the single.php from the parent and the footer is there. So as of right now, only pages that are in this custom post type have this specific template. And like I said, we're not making it fancy for this tutorial. I'm just showing you how to assign a custom post type template to a custom post type. In the music category here, we have post type of music. And this one is created with a plugin called the CPT UI plugin. And I have a tutorial on this link to in the card above or link to previously. To assign a post type to this one, it's gonna open one of these and we're gonna see that the footer is there. As before, here's the footer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just change the file name of this. If you wanted to have two different ones, you just duplicate this. You just right click it, copy, change the name to music. And now we have a custom post type for music and a custom post type for that product category. And you can have as many of these as you want. Now, if we go over to music, or sorry, the, the actual page, refresh it, the footer is gonna be gone on this one as well, because that's the only difference between the regular single.php and our custom post type template. So there we have our footer gone, and that's how we assign templates to custom post types. So that's so easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below and possibly in the card that popped up if I had any remaining cards. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.